Hi everyone, this is Gruesome Herzog. My next review is called Redwood Massacre, Annihilation in 2020. Here's the storyline. The hunters become the hunted after a stranger obsessed with the Redwood Farm murders convinced bereaved family members to venture into the wilderness in hope of proving the existence of the notorious burlap masked maniac. Directed by the talented David Ryan Keith, Written by David Ryan Keith. Here's the cast. Daniel Harris as Laura Dempsey. Damian Puckler as Max. Gary Casper as Gus. John Campling as Tom Dempsey. TV Poe as Jen. Benjamin Sulway as the Burlap Killer. And the cast goes... Alright, folks. I got familiar with David Ryan Keith for his first film that I've seen was called Tack of the Herbals in 2011. This is a well put together fucking gem. I interviewed David Ryan Keith. I've interviewed Liam Matheson um, and Richard Curry for the performances they did in Tack of the Herbals, a fucking brilliant film. Then came along another film that I reviewed, Ghosts of the Darkness. Another fantastic film. Then, number three in 2014, I reviewed the Redwood Massacre. So obviously, we have didn't we're out of touch for quite a few years. And then um, one day, he saw a post that I was re reposted in the Redwood Massacre for my new website, and then he asked me to review Redwood Massacre Annihilation. So special thanks to David Ryan Keith for a link. I deeply approve, I deeply um, thank you for that. So here we are. Redwood Massacre Annihilation in 2020. Great cast. Um, Danielle Harris from the Halloween days is back in 88 and on forward as Laura Dempsey. She was a badass in this film, which I kind of figured that by when well, you've seen the scene of him, her kickboxing and boxing, and her dad. Um, Tom Dempsey, John Campling, um, been searching for this masked burlap killer for years because her sister and slash, you know, Tom Dempsey's daughter, Laura Dempsey's sister, was missing. Damien Puckler was Max. Max, Max. Serial killer Max. That's what I'll say. A very unique character Max was fucking strange as all get out but he was fascinated with this burlap killer so he led uh, Laura and Tom and her friends in this obnoxious bullshit story of finding the mask which he did but that wasn't his it wasn't that he wanted to you know that he claims that there was a brother or I can't remember a death in his family caused by this burlap killer. He went there for entertainment. I don't want to say too much. It is out to watch, but I don't want to ruin the film. But wow, great cast, great storyline. I find this film brilliant. And what's neat about this film? It wasn't. It was in one place. It was in a banded hospital underground. There's more that meets the eye in this story. It's not just about the burlap killer. There's a reason why the burlap killer is down there. So they all go into this underground. They go. They figure it out that it's in this underground hospital. Oh, strange hospital. Once they get down there, they're locked in. And now the burlap killer is prancing around this building. I thought the burlap killer, I think, is one of the most creative killers since Orphan Killer. Um... You know, the Jason vibe, of course. Big, nasty, don't say anything, cocks his head a certain way, and just pulverizes the body, cutting him up. However, brilliant, brilliant character, a brilliant franchise. I think the Redwood Killer can go on for years. Now, again... This is a unique storyline, a unique character, a unique film. It has it all. I thought Daniel Harris was brilliant in here. I thought the whole cast was brilliant. 
David Ryan Keith, another gem from you. This is a brilliant idea, a brilliant franchise that you're building here with this character. Keep them coming. Brilliant. Burlap killer. You can't beat it. This is Grissom Herzog. I give this film a 9 out of 10. Again, I can babble on. There's more to this movie than what I'm saying. I don't want to say no more than that. Fucking brilliant. This is Grissom Herzog. And I'm out of here.